Were Florida schools prepared for a pandemic? This is my new at-home classroom. Before the COVID-19 outbreak forced students to learn from home, all of a sudden everything's gone, it's out the window, we have no idea what to do. And um, the teachers have no idea. Did school districts have a pandemic plan? And why won't the state release the plan it claims it had to the public? This is a recipe for disaster. Let's see what's brewing. I'm Jenna Bourne, and I'm an investigative reporter at 10 Tampa Bay. If you're new here, welcome to our caffeine-fueled, homemade deep dive into issues that matter to you. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. We've been working on this story for more than four months, ever since students suddenly had to transition to e-learning. If you could sum up that transition in one word, what would you say? Messy. Strawberry Crest High School senior Delaney Mobley says technology was one of the biggest issues, specifically access to digital learning platforms like Edsby. When you log on to Edsby the first like week or two, everyone was on Edsby at the same time. And so Edsby was crashing every other day. And that made turning in things difficult. Do you feel like schools were ready for this? I don't think so at all. I don't think they had any idea of what to do. Like if we were going to be at home for a while and they weren't prepared for it lasting this long. In early April, we sent a simple public records request to the state and our 10 school districts in Tampa Bay. Send us any written pandemic plan you had before the COVID-19 outbreak. Now this is important because it can show the public how prepared schools were or weren't, whether they followed their plans, whether they even had any plans at all. The responses we got were all over the place. Some refused to send us their plans. Some had no plans. Some had a plan, but it hadn't been updated in more than a decade. Before we take a deeper dive into the local level, let's tackle the state plan. We first told you in May, the Florida Department of Education refuses to release the plan they claim they had before the pandemic. They say it falls under their Continuity of Operations plan, known as a COOP for short. Basically, it's a plan Florida agencies are required to have to continue operations during any emergency, which supposedly includes pandemics. But the state state won't send it to us because they say it falls under a security and fire safety exemption in Florida's public records law. We asked a public records expert to weigh in. The statute that talks about the fire and security plan is very specific. It says it includes records relating directly to the physical security or fire safety of the facility or revealing security or fire safety systems. That's not what you're asking for. Of course, we don't want to reveal any information that would put kids, teachers, or anyone's safety at risk, which is why we've asked the Florida Department of Education multiple times to redact any part of the plan that reveals security and fire safety info and send us the rest. They still won't do it. We have a plan, we just can't show it to you. Um, I think we need to be really honest with each other now. Which brings us back to our question. Were Florida schools prepared for a pandemic? That's hard to answer when the plan is kept secret. I mean, what good is a plan if no one knows what's in it? Because here's the thing, major decision makers when it comes to education in our state they haven't seen the plan either. The chair of the state Senate Committee on Education hasn't seen it. You've mentioned several times that you've seen an overview of the state plan, but you haven't actually seen the state plan no, itself. I, well, I don't have the document in my hand. What I, what I have is, is, uh, is gone over summaries and, and major points. The president of the Florida Education Association hasn't seen it. How do you feel about the fact that you haven't seen any written plans? Well, it's tough, you know, and, and that's unfortunate uh, for those in leadership, our governor, our commissioner of education. Uh, I think those folks have to answer for that. Okay, good idea. The Florida Department of Education didn't respond to my multiple requests to interview Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran. So I tried to snag him before one of the governor's news events in Tampa. You want to Can I snag you real right quick? After be right after? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you still going to be around? Yeah, yeah, I'll be around. I tried to ask the governor about it too. Governor, the Florida Department of Education is refusing to release its pandemic plan. We've been asking for three months. Don't you think the public has a right to know what was Richard, in the plan? You, you want to take that? Uh, governor, I'd like to hear what you have to say about that as well. <laughs> You've reached out to us several times. My office has communicated with you very clearly that the pandemic plan uh, it, in it is what we 
strategize on how to keep our school children safe, and it is not a public record. And if you'd like, we'll get you the statute, we'll get you the general counsel. You've been to talk citing to your a office. fire safety plan, sir, no, a security no, and fire no, safety plan. It's about school plan. safety and it's about protecting children. After the news conference wrapped, Corcoran walked out a side door. He's walking out. Mr. Corcoran, you said you'd answer a couple questions for me. Mr. Corcoran, don't you think that the public has a right to know about their plans for schools? Mr. Corcoran, you're not going to answer our questions? I answer all your questions. Every single time, I always answer your question. Then why are you driving away, sir? The next day, I talked to Senator Manny Diaz, who you heard from earlier. Remember, he's the chair of the State Senate Committee on Education. I think, you know, putting too much um, into what the state overall plan misses the mark because you're gonna you you may have you're gonna have 67 different plans to be honest with you. He's not exaggerating. We found that prior to the COVID-19 outbreak, school districts had a patchwork of pandemic plans. The school district of Manatee County tells us their plan was created in 2006 and remained untouched until April of this year. They wouldn't send us their plan either, citing the same exemption as the Florida Department of Education. Pinellas County Schools sent us this plan from about 10 years ago when H1N1 was an issue. It mentions closing schools in the case of a widespread outbreak, but doesn't say anything about virtual learning during that time. Hardy and Highlands counties tell us they didn't have formal pandemic plans before COVID-19. And this patchwork of plans led to different outcomes for students depending on their zip codes. In the more rural places where we had issues with connectivity and, and really they had to um, kind of pivot to the distance learning packets and things of that nature. We had other districts that did an incredible job. Do you think that having these plans in advance before a pandemic like COVID-19 hit could have prevented this chaos? We've never um, dealt with anything like COVID-19. So I don't, I don't want to uh, throw rocks at people and say, well, you should have imagined that this happened in some parallel universe. But let's just take what we could have done this time. So where do schools go from here? All this summer, each school district has been scrambling to figure out what the plan is for this new school year. Do you think that there needs to be more uniformity? I think that there's some structure and skeleton that needs to be exist so that the individual districts can make these decisions and cater them specifically to their community. In the meantime, Delaney says she's been stressing out about her senior year all summer. It's been super nerve wracking. It is so difficult because it's such an unprecedented time and no one really knows what's going on. We'll keep you posted as we continue to push for the Florida Department of Education's pandemic plan to be made public for you. You can also find a full breakdown of how each of our 10 local school districts responded when we asked for their pre-COVID pandemic plans right now on 10tampabay.com. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss an episode of What's Brewing, and I'll see you next time. Hey, Mocha, you want your new toy? Let me think of your new toy. Are you gonna share nicely? Get it, get it.